In this video, I'm going to share two ways to safely dispose of acrylic paint wastewater in an eco-friendly way. Hello, my name is Katherine Raines. I'm a mixed media collage artist, and welcome to Tune In Tuesday, where I share weekly art demos to expand your mixed media toolbox. If you see value in my art demos, I would deeply appreciate a thumbs up, and if you would subscribe to my channel. Links for the supplies to safely dispose of your acrylic paint water are under show more below. And while you're there, you might want to check out my free five-day online workshop where I teach you how to use all the papers created during Tune In Tuesday to create fabulous collages the very first try. So let's get started getting rid of all that messy paint water. Okay, so what we're going to be doing today is talking about how to safely dispose of our acrylic paint water, which, you know, I have to admit that for a very long time, I did not do a good job with this. I just literally threw it down the drain, which is, by the way, a really bad idea. And I've heard, I heard, you know, over the years of other artists doing some really cool things with their paint water, and I didn't do it. So I'm gonna show you what I've been doing. And I actually came up with two different ways to dispose of my paint water. Um, I dispose of it safely and environmentally. And I actually use both of these methods depending on how much paint water I have. So I am gonna turn the camera around and show you my exact setup for doing this. So on an everyday basis, this is what my setup looks like. So I this is my paint bucket that I use all the time. I got my paintbrush in it and it is sitting in water. You know, it's sitting in acrylic paint um, that's watered down. And I take my brush out. And now what to do with this? You know, and again, for years, I used to just toss this down the drain. The reason this is so bad is because this is basically plastic. So you were throwing plastic down the drain and it clogs up the drain. It's bad for our environment, for our water source. So what I've been doing for the past couple years um, and I'm going to show you two parts to this. So the first part is I take this wastewater and I dispose of it in this larger, it's a three gallon bucket. And this bucket sits right here on the floor next to my sink. Very blessed to have a sink in my studio. So I'm going to do that right now. I just add this to what I already have in there. It's no coincidence that my water is almost always teal because that's the main color, blues and greens is what I mainly use. So I get a lovely color in my wastewater. I wait till it gets pretty much like maybe halfway here. And then I take this bucket outside and I've got a five gallon bucket. I actually have two five gallon buckets right next to my trash can. And they've got about five inches of playground sand in the bucket. I pour this into the larger five gallon bucket and then I allow nature to do its work. So the sun, the environment will actually evaporate all of this paint water into the sand. And once it's all the water is evaporated, then I can take that sand with the paint water and it will just be a solid mass. And I can throw that safely in the trash. Now that's what I've been using and it works well. The only problem is one, you have to have some outside space for five gallon buckets. The other thing is, though, all that paint water over time starts to smell. Now, it's not a problem if you've got that, these five-gallon buckets in a nice place where no one is going to smell them. But unfortunately, mine live right next to my beautiful porch that I like to sit on. So, I started investigating some quicker ways to get rid of this paint water. The other downside of having this, in my case, I have it very close to my studio, so the rain actually goes into my five gallon bucket and it's filling it up at the same time I'm trying to evaporate it. So it's, it takes me a long time to actually get all that water evaporated. Now I'm about to, or I should say my husband is about to create a little roof over my two five gallon buckets so rain can't get in them because you don't want to put lid on this because then the environment can't actually evaporate it. I'm even thinking about just taking a table and putting it on right over the buckets and that would work as well. But just recently, I discovered a product that actually speeds this whole process up. And it's actually this product right here. It's called uh, Crash Paint Solids. You get it from Golden. It's actually made by Golden Paints. And it's a system, it's, a, it's actually a complete kit they give you 
to get rid of paint solids. So this is a huge box. It comes with everything you need. And you should think I'm endorsing them. I'm not, but I tried it and I absolutely love it. So this one box gives me 16 gallons of, basically I get rid of 16 gallons of paint water. So here's what you do. Okay, so the wave system starts the same way. I have my paint bucket, but in, and then I also put it in here. But then as soon as I get about a gallon of, of liquid in here, I take this bucket, and this bucket, by the way, is a one gallon bucket. Now, I did this earlier today. I took about a, a gallon of water from this one. I put it into this one. And the way this works is very, very simple. Um, I have a little tiny one ounce jar here. I take one ounce of formula number one of this, and I stick it in here. I stir it up with a paint stick. They even give you the paint stick. I wait 15 minutes, and then I take formula number two, put one ounce, same thing, in here. I let it, and I, I stir it up for about, I don't know, maybe a minute, so it's really well absorbed. Then I let this wait for about an hour, so it's just gonna sit there. Then I go over to the second part of this. So let me see if I can do this while holding a phone. So they give you everything. So I have this bigger bucket here. They give you this nice colander and they give you these large coffee filters. So what you do is you wet this down because you want this well adhered. Now I take this, this bucket and I pour it in there. Just trust me, I'm actually, oh, oh, I, I did. <laughs> I did get a little ambitious there. So now, that gallon of wastewater is going through this. And it's what's happening is the acrylic paint will stay in the coffee filter. All of the water goes in here. And when this is completely drained, this water can go down the drain. And this will just be a clump of wastewater. And I'm gonna show you what the end result is. So I let this sit. My last one I did, I let it sit for about 24 hours. I could have let it sit much less than that, but let me show you the end result. So this is the end result of it. So it completely dried up. So now, I mean, it's a tiny bit moist, but this is completely safe to just to throw in the trash, which is what I'm gonna do. So I'll just push this, you know, bundle this up and this goes in the trash. This is the water that came from that. And actually it was twice this amount of water, but I, it wouldn't all fit in my little Tupperware dish. So this just is gonna go down the drain. So I am just gonna wait, you know, till probably till tomorrow morning and I will have, this will be dry enough, all the water be gone, that I can actually dispose of this safely. So to be honest, I use both of these methods. This does cost a little bit. That's the only downside of this. So this crash paint solids, this costs more. So the average at per 16 gallons is about four dollars a gallon which is why i also want to use my other method my, my method of just like allowing the sun to get rid of the, the water so i can throw it away so that is it so i'm open for questions if you have any can you do the same idea with matte gel how do you clean brushes without running water in a sink could you repeat the first option is there a link for this product the link will be in the show notes so Yes, matte medium, you asked about. Everything goes into here, you know, so it's matte medium, it's all, and that's acrylic too. So it's my, uh, all my acrylic paints in with water. So this is where I wash my brush. So it's just, you know, acrylic wastewater with water. So yes, matte medium would work. Um, now, what someone asked about how do you clean your brushes? It's gonna be in water. So here is something that helps me. So imagine this is a very dirty brush. And I already have water in here. I put clean water in these three receptacles. I keep one water, one, one of these, as clean as I can with fresh water. And before I actually put wash this in the sink, I am scrubbing this as much as I can at the bottom of this. I'm trying to think, is there any, yeah, there's actually, if you can see this, there's actually some, um, what do you call that? There's some rubbing stuff there. Um, you know, so I can get a lot of that paint off and then I will also take this and whatever's left over, I'm trying to get all of it onto craft paper. So actually I'll show you right here. This is my, there we go. 
So I got a roll of craft paper really close by. I'll just put a little bit of on my table and just get as much of the paint solid off before I take this brush and I just rinse it in the sink. So, you know, there is a little bit of acrylic paint left. It's not perfect. Um, and the other thing is, is I will, you know, sometimes I don't get all of the paint off of here. In fact, you can tell I didn't over a long period of time. This is a little blue, but I will soak this in Murphy's oil soap. And then, uh, then I'll just rinse the Murphy's oil soap off and I'll have a, a fresh brush. This is, this brush has been hard many, many times and I've cleaned it with Murphy's oil soap. I don't know if you've ever smelled uh, wastewater that's been around for a while. I don't even can't even describe the smell, but if you if you accumulate this wastewater over time and I have it right in my studio near me, um, you know, then I, as soon as it starts smelling, I go, okay, I've let it go too long. I need to bring it downstairs to my five gallon buckets, but then they overflow. Hence why I'm going to take the easy route for a little bit, a little time now, just so that I can get rid a lot of a lot of this wastewater and I refuse to throw it down the train. Um, I live with a well. I mean, I actually, my water source is a well. So it's not only does it clog your pipes, but it also, because it goes into your water source. At least I think it does. So I'm trying to prevent that. So I think that's it for this edition of Tune In Tuesday. So thank you and I hope you all have a blessed day. Bye-bye. <laughs>